Hello guys, welcome back to Chris Polly channel. This video I want to share about any news that occur on 4th week October 2021. Okay, to enjoy watch my video, make sure you turn on this video subtitle and also you can use timestamp that I already provide to go to target topic that you want. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on bell notification to get any update and guide on Black Desert World. Okay, let's start this video content using any feature that I provide. Okay, first in info that I want to cover about Revamp Not War. Actually last week maintenance update, we just get new Not War mechanic, territory based Not War. Actually if you want to know more detail about this new Not War mechanic, you can check my special video that I already published long time ago when Per Abyss release this new Not War mechanic for territory base on Korea server. And after 27 October 2021, they just released new region that available for Not War, Kama Sylvia region Not War. Actually because I play on SEA server, SEA server have less choice for server inside our region and previously Kama Sylvia 1 server is Elviarum server and because they just released this Kama Sylvia not war they just changed this Kama Sylvia 1 server to become not war server and also remove this Elviarum status from this Kama Sylvia 1 server so on SEA server we just only have three server that have Elviarum but most of people exclude this Arsia server to get efficient grinding process we don't need to involve with PvP content during the grinding season and actually most of SEA server people got disappointed with this removal for this Elvia room from Kama Sylvia 1 server because this server already changed to become not war server but I hope if Per Abyss didn't want to add more server on SEA server I hope this Elvia room still okay on not war server and all monster will disappear when this not war occur but I didn't know what happened with another server region after this Kama Sylvia not war occur so if you play on another server outside SEA server let me know in this comment section if your Elviarum also got removed from one of your server and switch it to become not war server. Okay, next if you check your per shop and go to a hot and new and go to event tab, make sure you didn't miss this Halloween Silver Mad Scientist Marni Adventure Box because you can purchase this package using 100 million silver to get this Mad Scientist Marni Adventure Box. Actually, this is RNG box that you can obtain one of this item on this list and also you will get this mad scientist marni flash one piece and as you can see for this mad scientist marni flash actually this is exchangeable item but sadly if you didn't spend any pearl we only can get this mad scientist marni flash one piece from this 100 million silver purchase only and to get another piece for this mad scientist marni flash you need to purchase this mad scientist marni adventure box using some pearl so if you free to play player just consider this item is crownstone 20 pieces but but I recommend you to exchange it later after this Halloween event end. Maybe in future, Per Abyss will give you another Mad Scientist Marni Flash so you can exchange it with another item on this list. And if you watched my previous video about sneak peek next maintenance update at 27 October 2021, I also mentioned about cosplay swap outfit that will release after this maintenance done. And you can get this outfit from this Mad Scientist Marni Adventure Box. If you lucky, you will get this cosplay party outfit box one piece. And if you go to per shop and go to hot and new and go to new tab, you can see this Halloween cosplay party one. Actually, this is cosplay swap outfit that I mentioned before on this video. Actually, I make this video at last April mob event at 2021. And the good news, we can purchase this Halloween cosplay party outfit directly from per shop without need to involve our RNG. And also from this Mad Scientist Marni Adventure Box, you also can get this horrifying Halloween outfit box. Actually, they just bring back this horrifying Halloween outfit from last year Halloween event that I already review it last year on this special video. You can check it for more detail. And once again if you go to new tab on per shop for this year Halloween event, Per Abyss just let us to purchase this outfit directly from Central Market without need to involving our RNG either for male outfit and female outfit. Okay, the last news about per shop come from Korea server official website. As you can see, they just published this website at 25 October 2021. So actually this website Pets release before this week maintenance start. If I translate this website, actually this is notice to increase amount of pearl product and number of item extracted from per item. And this update on Korea server will implement at 27 October 2021 after maintenance. So actually Korea server already got this update after this week maintenance. Once again, per Abyss just increase Noble Fox Cry and Cronstone that you can extract from any outfit costume. As you can see, this is example for premium outfit set. And because 
because they increase Foxcry and Cronestone extraction, they also will increase price for each outfit that can be purchased on central market. As you can see, this is example for Korea server. Actually, this outfit costume price from central market will become nearly double than before. But be noticed, this is sample from premium outfit box that sold on central market on Korea server. So the exact value for this price might be different from each server, but we only need to see its increase in percent. This is increase almost more than 50% more. And also for another type of outfit set, either custom outfit set and classic outfit set, they will increase this price on silver from central market, but price in pearl still same as before. And I think this change on Korea server also will implement on our live server near future, expected on next maintenance update. So let me know your thought about this info, if this info become good news or bad news for you. Maybe for some well player, this is will become good news because they can sell any per outfit on central market with higher price. But for free to play player and some player like me that hope can get this outfit from central market, this is become bad news for us. But let me know on this comment section your thought about this upcoming chance for this per item price increase chance on central market. Okay, next news that I want to cover about update for full guide 100% pen boss gear enhancement. As I mentioned before on this video, per abyss will release method to exchange this boss gear to become alternate type. I mean for example, if you choose Dim Tree Armor and you want to switch it to become Red Nose for this special Ted boss gear, you can exchange it in future. And after 27 October 2021 maintenance update, they just make this exchange to become happen. You can exchange this special Ted boss gear that you get from Jetina from NPC Yisar Petio at Tarif City. As you can see for this example, for the second boss gear that I want to make it to become pen come from Tufala Glove. If I talk to Jetina NPC and choose this Old Moon Resplendent Glove Tufala to exchange my pen Tufala gear to become Special Ted Glove, I can choose between Special Ted Big Glove or Special Ted Lebur Glove. Okay, just take this quest. And after that, just hand over this pen Tufala Glove to Jetina NPC to finish this quest. And in this case, I will choose this Ted Big Glove because I aim its accuracy from this Big Glove. And then I will get this Special Ted Big Glove from Jetina NPC. And actually, if you talk to Jetina NPC, after 27 October 2021 maintenance update, Jetina NPC will give you interaction. If you choose this interaction, I exchange the wrong boss gear. Jetina NPC will explain you. If you just wrong choose previously for choosing this gear, you can go to bring this gear to Alchemist Yisar Petio in Tarif City, and he will let you exchange it for a different piece of boss gear, but only once. Okay, I just bring this special Ted boss gear that I got from Jetina NPC that still have reform level 0 to this tariff NPC and meet this NPC, Yisar Petsio. Actually, this NPC located at Media Region, especially on Tariff City. As you can see, this is the NPC, Yisar Petsio, on this location. If you talk with him and take the main quest, he will offer you this special quest, one exchange per family, Old Moon Resplendent Glove. If I take this quest, he will exchange your special Ted boss gear from Jetina NPC to another type special Ted boss gear, specific for its slot, because previously I have this special Ted big glove from Jetina NPC, so when I want to exchange it, he just offer me this special Ted lebur glove, but be noticed this quest you only can do it once every gear slot per family, and be noticed this exchange only for exchange non-upgradable piece for this special Ted boss gear from Jetina NPC, so this chance to exchange your special Ted boss gear to become another type, this is only for non-upgraded special Ted boss gear that still didn't have any reform stone. But I'm not sure about this statement. My question for this exchange, if our special Ted boss gear already got some reform level, can we still exchange this special Ted boss gear to become another type from this NPC Yisar Petio? Because if we still can exchange this special Ted boss gear to become another type through this quest, and our special Ted boss gear already have reform level, I didn't know what happened next. Can we still can get this quest or not. So if you have experience to exchange this special Ted boss gear from Jetina NPC to this NPC Yitzar Petio on Tarif City, you can comment on this comment section because I cannot test this content to exchange it. So let me know on this comment section if you already have special Ted boss gear with reform level and you want to exchange it to another type. And special thanks to all my membership for direct support via Patreon, Karya Karsa, and YouTube membership and also my current member.
Member, Zekru, Dubiadut, Jimmy Snake, Doki, Aganim Scepter, Renegades X, Aegis to Guild from NA Server, Gospel, Homi, Ayrton, Tepan Gaming, Kill Steel, Wemi, Clouty, Davin Jion Chung, Edward Mabolim as Gold Member, and also all my Silver and Bronze Member. Thank you so much for all your direct support. This will make Chris Poly channel running and growing more faster. If you want to support me directly, I will very grateful. And as special thanks, I will put your name on my video, depend on your support level. And be noticed for some level there are have some limit, so make sure you didn't get run out for this limited space. And I will put your name on every subsequent video that I release for the duration of your support. And if you want to join my membership to support me directly, you can go to any platform for Patreon, Karekarsa, and YouTube membership. I already put link for this membership on this video description. Or you can check on top right of this video, I already put card for Patreon link. Okay guys, that's all any news that occur on 4th week October 2021. Hope all this info can be useful for you. If you like this video, you can like and subscribe to my channel for another guide and update. Thank you for watching. See you next time.